Hi Strike customers, we're out here with our um, RF engineers in regards to getting a better signal uh, for people who drive in those rural or semi-rural areas uh, around the place. I'm just going to explain our setup to us here, uh, to you here. Right now, outside there, we have the Strike B2, which is a, uh, a gutter or a bulb out bull bar mounted antenna you can mount it anywhere really on the outside of your vehicle but strike b2 uh, is the best antenna we sell and we're very confident of its performance that um, antenna is running into a cell fi booster here um, into the input of that outside so that effectively that's drawing the signal from outside of the car into the cell fi booster and um, this cable here is where it comes out this is an internal antenna that goes inside your car uh, the team at Cellfi, uh, who are great, uh, are great people, um, ha recommend in their in their um, user manual to have this in the footwell of the vehicle. Um, so we're going down here. I'm just going to put that in the footwell there and ready to go. What we're what we're going to demonstrate here today um, is that in real world, in the real world conditions. Um, the Cellfi is a great product and, and, and we, are a, we are a big fan of it. Um, if you want the very best solution, we believe um, in putting the Cellfi straight into our cradle. And so the second part of this video will demonstrate that. What we've got here is the first part of our video, um, which is going through a speed test with a standard Cellfi setup, and we're going to go now. So what we're getting there is 15, or a little bit more, 17 um, megabits per second uh, as a download speed. And again, that is a, that is a really great result. Um, a lot of people uh, in regards to using the self-fire boosters or even strike cradles need to understand a really important factor. And the really important factor is this. If there is not a mobile phone signal outside where that antenna is, the B2 antenna, this device and no device that exists on the planet can invent a mobile phone signal. What is happening is the, bit, the larger antenna that's outside of the vehicle is capturing the radio wave, translate, trans, uh, sending that down a, uh, a wire into the booster um, to do that, or if it's just a strike stand, it's set up straight into our cradle. What you'll see here is we've got uh, yeah, a maximum there of 19.6 megabytes. Our next test is going to be uh, when we plug the Solfi straight into a cradle. Um, we'll see what that uh, test comes out like and we look forward to you enjoying the second part of our video. Thank you. Here we are for our second video demonstrating the Cellfi um, Go product that is connected straight into a Strike Alpha Cradle. So what we've got here is a cable that comes in our packs uh, when you need this uh, from Strike on our website, just check that. It's running straight out of the Cellfi booster and into the back of our cradle, of which we've got an internal passive antenna. Now, each of these antennas inside Strike Cradles are positioned specifically for a, a, a device, a telephone. So the position for uh, an iPhone is different for a, a Samsung, say, S22, for example. Um, so what we've got here is our second test, and uh, we're out in the bush, as I've already stated in our first video. I'm just going through a speed test uh, our second speed test to show you the improvement you can get when you go straight into a Strike Alpha Cradle. So here we go. So that's now getting, you know, high 40s and early 50s megabytes per second download, which is a, a quite a stunning result um, for the device uh, in a rural area. Uh, as you will have noted, that's significantly better. Uh, than the first video which showed the standard self fi setup, which as, as, as stated is a great setup, uh, but this we think is um, the world's best setup in regards to using a, a booster with a cradle. Okay, try customers, so we, in conclusion, um, we think a, a, a good solution is to strike half a cradle straight into a, a B2 antenna. If you can afford it, uh, a, a better solution is um, the Strike B2 with the Cellfi um, repeater, and the very best solution is the Strike, Strike B2 into a Cellfi um, booster and then straight into the back of a, an Alpha Cradle, so you're getting the very best possible solution. Something that's really important to remember is that atmospheric conditions change, um, and even things like a heavy foliage uh, or cloud cover can affect um, radio signals. So the best way after you get one of these devices to know if it's working for your needs is to actually use it for a few weeks 
and see if the call quality uh, of what you do improves. Uh, we're very confident because we do those tests ourselves um, and we encourage you to do that as well. Again, something to remember, you can't invent a mobile phone signal and no device ever can, so there has to be some signal outside that's available to capture to boost. We hope this has been helpful. If you've got any questions, please reach out to uh, the Strike team. We're here to look after you. Thank you.